This is Cameron Hull from Wix Studios, and you're with Noisegate. Wix Studios uh, has been operating under this name for, I think, about 10 years or so. Before that, it used to be called the Dane Centre of Entertainment, which goes back, I think, another 20 plus years before we took over it. So it's, it's been a rehearsal place for yeah, a long, long time. It's all been designed by uh, Andrew Steele from Ultraphonic up in Brisbane uh, with the help of Dan, one of the owners. They uh, yeah, have designed each room specifically to sound as great as possible. Maybe you and I should call it a day. Yeah, so we do host uh, a few different events that help engage with the local community. Uh, the main one would have to be Girls Rock. Um, it's a camp for youths that are uh, female and non-binary that all get together from all ranges of musical ability, from none to some, and uh, form bands and do workshops, learning how to make their own merch and street press and everything that's involved in being a band. So uh, yeah, there's normally about 40 to 50 kids, I think, that come through once or twice a year for a week, which is always chaos, but in the best way possible. So yeah, we love working with Girls Rock. The rooms uh, all have Midas consoles in them, which are all the Venice series. Um, different size boards depending on the size of the room, up to a 32 channel on the large rooms. Um, and all of our rooms are either Nexo or Quest uh, through most of the rooms, uh, with a Coda rig in two of them and a RCF rig in a couple of them as well. So there's a few different options depending on what you're after. But yeah, each room, all the paneling is is quite similar, and they were all all the paneling was produced by Ultraphonic as well as them doing the design for the placement in each of the rooms as well. So all the rooms are fully treated with double doors uh, to minimise noise bleed. Great sounding rooms. We try to be as inclusive as possible at the Wick. Um, try to keep the place nice and clean and it's a pretty modern kind of industrial kind of design I suppose. Um, yeah, it's a very Brunswick kind of design. Yeah, lots of natural like concrete and wood and that kind of thing. Um, and we sell beer on tap, so if that doesn't get everyone excited, I don't know what will. And let the credits play. And let the credits play. The first memorable session that springs to mind is my most recent one coincidentally, which uh, was for Yothu Yindi a couple of weeks ago, last weekend. Uh, it was a vocal tracking session and a Yadaki tracking session as well, which was lots of fun. There was quite a few people in throughout the days, lots of, uh, lots of good vibes, and uh, it was my first time tracking a Yadaki, and uh, Kev, the player, was exceptional. It sounded great, so I was really, really excited to get some... Uh, traditional indigenous sounds come through here which is yeah hopefully I can get some more of that under my belt soon that session and pretty much every session uh, using the Neumann M49 which is an original yeah quite an old mic and it doesn't really matter what you put in front of it it's always going to sound great so yeah that's the go to for sure yeah, the DBX stuff has just kind of uh, been accumulated from uh, one of the guys' live days. And uh, yeah, the, the main go-to seems to be, as you can see over here, the Avalons. There's four of those racked up here and another two that are in a flight case to head out on the road. <laughs> so yeah, Avalons are for sure the favourite here at the moment, but hopefully we can... Uh, maybe a distressor in the next few months would, would be great, I reckon. We've 
got a decent collection of guitar amps. We've got um, uh, Orange Retro 50. We've got a Mesa Triple Rec, Marshall JCM 2000s. Uh, we got some Angle, Laney, KMD, all the usual suspects, plenty of cabs, Sonal drum kits in the studio. Yeah, we've got it all here for you. come to Wick Studios because we've yeah we've set up a really good vibe here. We've got a nice crew of staff that are always friendly and engaging and happy for a chat. We've got the beer on tap as I mentioned which everyone seems to love and uh, yeah they're just great sounding rooms with great gear so I think you can't go wrong. Yeah easiest place to uh, get in touch with us is via the website which is wickstudios.com.au. We've got a bunch of info there about the place and you can kind of get a bit more of an idea of what we offer there. And uh, to keep up to date with what we're doing, uh, Facebook page is probably the easiest way to do that. If you just give Wick Studios a search on Facebook, you'll, you'll be able to follow us there. Pulling up my strings this love is lost 